First, it was a show of American might and unity that kicked off the weekend with B-52s over Tiger Stadium, where every team in America this year will want to come take on the national football champions. But Saturday was about dissension, the largest protest yet demanding Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards reopen businesses. Then Monday morning on WWL Radio in New Orleans. So I understand that the governor is thinking about things statewide, but we all know we're not going to Shreveport or Monroe on an average weekend. Um, if Jefferson is there and we are ready to reopen, we are hopeful that the governor will appreciate that and let parts of the state, regions of the state, start getting back to business. But so far, the governor has said it's all or nothing for the state. Before his first capital press conference since March, Governor Edwards had joined nearly every other governor on a conference call with Vice President Mike Pence, all to discuss how to achieve the White House mandate of 14 straight days of declining COVID cases. Nine of those governors are reopening without meeting that criteria. Uh, look, I don't, I don't second guess what other governors do. They, they have their own considerations for, for whatever reason. Um, I will tell you that here in Louisiana, to the extent that we can, that we can, we're going to abide by the guidelines because we, we think that they make sense. Downstairs, some lawmakers don't agree. Under protest from many of their colleagues, Senate President Paige Cortez and House Speaker Clay Schechtsnyder forced reconvening. They said they had to hammer out a budget in just four weeks. Those who protested feared for their health after COVID took the life of Representative Reggie Bagala. And then also after Baton Rouge Representative Ted James was hospitalized for days. And even Senate President Cortez himself took days to recover from COVID-19. Sheck Snyder and Cortez say the governor did not include them in his decision to extend stay-at-home to May 15th. Edwards says he did conference with the two and told them that he was following guidance from President Trump to secure that $1.8 billion in federal aid. But at another legislature, dissension over when to reopen spilled over in Michigan Thursday, where some rioters brandished assault rifles, causing senators to scramble for bulletproof vests. Governor Edwards says no provision has been made here to beef up capital security, and he reiterates that if Louisiana experiences any spike in COVID cases, such news would streak across the nation and kill Louisiana tourism. In 2018, over 51 million visitors spent $19 billion in Louisiana. That, according to Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. And, and I would remind you, we did it at the outset close a lot of things in Louisiana that were closed elsewhere. But as I read where many states are coming back online and they're opening up construction, but we never closed construction. They're opening up manufacturing. We never closed manufacturing. Um, every single time CISA, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, has revised its guidelines to include more um, as uh, critical infrastructure, we have, we have embraced that uh, completely. So we're on a third set of critical infrastructure now. So, so we, and, and yet, we've been able to reduce our case growth uh, and our numbers in a way that, that is, quite frankly, or as impressive as anybody in the country. Leo Honeycutt, WLFT, Louisiana News, Baton Rouge.